G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. I am going to use my gorgeous turtle mould again today because I just love it. It's a lovely, lovely mould. It's nice and chunky, good size. And um, I've got this shell that I want to put in it. So it'll go like that way in it, something like that. And then I've got a tortoise shell. <laughs> uh, not quite. Anyway, um, I'm going to do that. Now, because the like the gap there is going to be on the top, it's not going to be like that. I should be able to um, you know, get the bubbles out easily. So I can pour it in there. I can pour the resin in there. Um, and, uh, yeah, hopefully the bubbles will come out. But if you're concerned at all, you could always fill that prior with some resin. Put it aside, let it go off, and then come back and put it in your in your turtle or whatever else you're using. So, yes, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to go and mix up my resin, um, and I'll be right back. I'm going to use the I'm going to use the um, deep pour resin, the platinum river table resin. So I'll be right back. Now I've put my turtle on this little board just so that I can pick it up and move it out of the way because it's going to take about day and a half to cure and I want to use my video working space later on today for another video so I can just pick this up and, and move it without having to you know worry about it overflowing Now the other thing I was hoping to do is maybe not fill it totally and then once that's set um, pick out this kind of lighter um, almost the same color as this actually and just do a top coat on it the lighter color in there the lighter brown so yeah that's what I was planning on doing now the turtle is wider at this end here so I'm gonna try and go that way in like that right <laughs> that's what I'm gonna try and do stay there now I've mixed up 112 grams of A 48 grams of B and um, there we go. It's going to let it run down my little stick. So I'm going to put some in there first and then make sure it's nice and clean. Drop that in there because I don't want an air bubble underneath. I probably got way too much resin because I, I just calculated what the turtle normally... The turtle is normally, I can tell you, this turtle takes 180 grams of resin. But um, I have mixed up 160 grams. So <laughs> I'm going to have more. Uh, oh, because I'm not filling it up to the top either. Well, I'm trying not to fill it up to the top either. Now that wants to kind of move a little bit. So I'm probably going to have to... I guess it doesn't matter if it moves. I kind of wanted it like that. So anyway, I'll probably have to just keep moving it every now and then just to keep it rotated how I want it. But like I said, it takes a day and a half to cure. Now I'm going to put some resin in here. So I'll be able to keep moving it around. I'm just going to pour that in. Actually, I'll just stay here. Stay on this end and let the resin fill in where it wants to fill in. Okay. And I'll see if I've got any room to do a, a very thin little top coat. I might not. Let's just stop there for a minute. For a minute. Now, um, what can I use? What can I use? I'll just use this. It's a little silicone. <laughs> silicone cotton bud type thing all right now do you want to float what I've done previously see it's it's tilting and it's wanting to float so what I've done previously is put um, like a something silicone over the top to to weigh it down and I still do have some room Let's put a tiny bit more in just so that the clear is filling the flippers. 
like so. That way we've got clear, a very thin clear base just over everything there. Now I do have to just, I'm just going to give my little turtle's head a bit of a, a bit of a squeeze there just to make sure that we haven't got any bubbles forming in the head and I've just dripped resin down the side. I have to clean that up <laughs> so it's oh, off my board. That's all right. It's just my it's just my studio board. Let's clean that up. And clean up as we go, hey? All right, so you can see the shell definitely wants to tilt. Um, just trying to figure out. I'm going to go and get a small silicone mould to put on that, and then I can weigh it down. So I went and got one of my little druzy clusters here and I'll just make sure that it's clean okay so I'm gonna pop that there like so get it where I want it and then I'm going to tape it down. See, because it's silicone, it'll easily just peel off that top layer of, of resin. So make sure I've got enough. Now, can one of you just hold this for me? Just jump down through the screen. Hold that for me while I do this. <laughs> ah, okay, there we go. Now, I'm going to lift this up. I'll just have to do one at a time. Lift that up, tuck that under there so that's got that. And now I can work out where I want to put this one. I think that's about it. Pull this tight. Like so. And then tuck that under there. Ta-da! Look at that. I think that's pretty perfect. Yay! <laughs> um, but it is a big shell. Like, it fits fits in there really well. Um, I don't think I can... All I'm doing is pushing the silicone cluster down. So anyway, there it is. I do have some um, room left in my mould, but it's... The, th the thing is, this is my way of thinking, the top of the top of the shell here is sitting pretty much top in line with the top of this edge here. So if I was to put another colour in, um, it would come up the side a little bit. I guess it doesn't matter, does it? Does it matter? Not really. No, I'll put a tiny little bit more in and then I'll do a very, very thin, very, very thin layer of my other colour just so that we're seeing as much of that shell, that gorgeous shell as possible. Okay, so probably got about three millimetres there, I would think, maybe about three millimetres. In here that I can pour a darker layer on because the top of the shell here is pretty much at the top of my my mold so but that I, I just think it needs something else like a little bit of the the brown just on a base coat so I will come back and do that I think that the resin the clear resin has gone into my turtle head, I think. So I don't think there's going to be any room there for the darker colour to go in. Oh, yeah, there we go. There goes my bubble. <laughs> I just have to squeeze that out. So, yeah. Um, all right. Well, I will move this out of the way very carefully. And um, I will see you... Well, actually, I probably won't have to wait 
the full day and a half because I'm not going to unmold it. All I'm going to do is put a top coat on it. So I'll maybe, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow anyway for the top coat. Right, so it's the next day and it's it's set enough for me to do the top coat. So let's get this tape off. I'll stick it to my bench because then I'll use it again <laughs> to clean off my moulds. All right, we can get rid of that. Now, let's see if we can get this off. A little druzy. Should just peel off. Look at that. Perfect. It's a little tiny air pocket in there, like but where the druzy was sitting on top, but that doesn't matter. We're going to fill this top area. We won't look at the other side. We won't. Right, now I'm going to fill the top here with... Um, I've got this one. It's by Octopus Fluids. It's an alcohol ink. It's called Brownie. So remember, I want to pick up this light brown sort of caramelly colour. Now what I want to do is, because I don't want it to be too strong, I'm just going to pop it up here on the top of my stick and let it drip down. I find that's a good way of doing your alcohol ink because then you can just mix a little bit in. And if you want more, then you can go and sort of scrape that other bit in like so or tilt your cup so that you can clean off the top there so it's not too strong by the looks of it let's do another one because some alcohol inks are really quite strong and then others aren't so <laughs> you just don't know what you're going to get that's quite yellow all right let's go again whoa two went in I think that'll that'll be enough. Okay, so that's pretty close to what I want. And it will look darker in there because it's deeper. But um, I don't want it to be too, too dark. Because the spots are quite dark. There's some really dark chocolate brown spots and some lighter brown spots. And then there's this sort of caramelly colour. So, that's what it's going to look like. It's a little bit too yellow for me. I'm going to see what else I can get and just add to it. So here's the Let's Resin Brown, which is probably going to be way too dark. So let's, again, start way up here. And we'll just add a little bit. You can see it's changing already. And then if you want more, you know, you can obviously dip your stick in a bit further and get more of that colour off the stick. Um, and then when you're happy with your colour, you can take that stick out, <laughs> I think, and then use another stick. I'm just going to add a little bit more. Let's see what that's looking like now. See that one, it's hardly any colour at all. Okay, I'm going to use that whole drop, I think. Let's go crazy and use a whole drop. I know, right? <laughs> okay, so that, I think that'll be it. I just wanted a pale, you know, like I said, caramelly sort of a colour. And I think I think that's it. I think that will do. All right. Now that I've taken that tape off and everything, I can pop my gloves back on. Not that I'm going to make a mess, but you never know. You could spill something on yourself, couldn't you? All right, here we go, pouring in. What's that? Oh, it's in the mould. Never mind. It's a little hair or something. Right. I just made, this is the Platinum 360 Plus that I'm using because I know it's going to set up. I'll be able to unmould. Well, I'll probably leave, leave it till tomorrow now, but um, with a, a thin coating like that, you could... A mold in in eight hours I didn't use it all look I'm gonna have to make a puffy heart I can put some um, like gold um, glitter or something in that little bit there and, and make a really pretty puffy heart okay so that's that's it that's all I can do but we have got a have got a covering there this little bit here is poking up just a tiny tiny bit I probably could get a few more drops in there 
just to cover it. I didn't actually look at my my shells when I when I bought these. I bought them in a set of five, just from eBay. Um, and I might just tilt that a bit. I didn't actually check them when when they arrived to see if they were all the same size or not. I'm just going to have a little bit of paper here. I'm just going to. Oh, it's sticking to me. I'm just going to lift those back feet up just so it can go that way. My table's probably out by a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. <laughs> tiny bit. All right. I'm just going to give that a really, really light little torch. Just my, my tiny little torch here. Just in the middle where I can see some bubbles forming. And that's it. All right. Now, I'm just going to leave that like that. Um, and hopefully, hopefully it'll look really pretty. I'm hoping, oh, there's a bit of a streak of my ink. I'm hoping that doing this background isn't going to detract too much from the shell once we've turned it over. But I just thought that if I didn't have anything and it was just all clear, the flippers were clear and the head was clear and the body was clear, I just thought it would be a little bit boring. Okay, um, now what can we put... What can we put into this gold, in this little bit of resin? Do you want to come with? We're going to have a little look, see what, see what going to match. Let's go around. Um, let's put that there for a minute. So we've got this one might be nice. Champagne. That might be nice with it. Um, what else? What's hiding back here? Gold. So we've got the champagne and we've got the gold. Hmm. These are a bit big. When I started with resin, I got chunky glitter like this, but. I decided I didn't really like it. It was a bit too chunky, chunky, chunky monkey. Um, 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 um. What's under here? Uh, move over. Move over. This one's got like a. It's got like a greenish hue. I've stuck a bit on the top there. So that might be pretty too. Put that back. Mm -hmm. Those are stones, chameleon powders, stones, some blue. Pebbles in the back. Oh, these are my new ones, actually. These ones. Allure. This is a pinky tone. Oops. Uh, don't fall over backwards there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Trying to do this one handed. <laughs> um, turquoisey. Oh no, the one I wanted's gone over the back. Oh, let me reach it. Let me reach it. Oh my gosh. Hang on, I have to put the phone down. Got it. It's this one. It's kind of got some apricotty tones in it. So we'll put that there as well. Now a lot of thoughts going into, isn't it? Into what we're going to put into this. But see, it's good that I then I can know like for other times if I want to do puffy hearts. I've been doing heaps lately. Um And I've got lots in here as well, lots of different glitters. Actually, Colour Passion sent me a whole heap to try out. I haven't used them yet. They only came a couple of days ago. I've got lots. Look at this. Lots of them. They're so pretty. So I'm kind of looking for brownish tones. And then I've got all these over here as well. And then in here, there's lots and lots and lots of glitter. Oh gosh. And then there's that. See, that would look nice too. Might be a little bit too, too the same. Anyway, um, let's just pick one. 
and be done with it. I'm going to do this one. Okay, here we go. Let's do this one. This one. All right. Okay, there we go. Clean my puffy mold, my puffy heart mold. So you can open the lid like that, or you can open it on that side and get the big hole. So you can open it on that side and get the shaker thingy. Let's just pour some of that in there. Don't go in my turtle. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. Very pretty. So it's got the gold and it's got the orange. It's actually got a tiny little bit of is that like dark brown maybe or black. Not sure what it is, but it's pretty. Uh, it is by PDB. This one's Jupiter. Mm, lovely, 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 lovely. Okay, here we go. We'll just do, I should be able to get two. You probably didn't need all that glitter because <laughs> it's going to sink anyway. Which means the glitter is going to kind of fall to the background there. Let's wait a little bit. I wonder if I can get another one. Probably. Oh, I might. Look, I'm going to get, I'm going to do three. Oh, here we go. I'll just scrape that out. Now this one needs a little bit more. I can't believe I'm going to get three out of this. Three lucky people will get these puffy heart molds when they buy. Oh, not molds. Puffy heart pendants when they buy a few molds. Just my way of saying thank you for spending your hard earned cash with me. <laughs> and look, I have fun too because I get to create with my leftovers. Yay! Um, and then I just give them a torch just in the middle where those bubbles are. You don't want to be torching over there in, near that edge there, just in the middle where it's deep resin. And that's it. And there's a bit of glitter that's found its way in there. Anyway, that's enough for me. I've taken enough of your time today. Um, but yeah, I will um, hang around, stick around, grab yourself a cuppa, um, and then I'll be back to unmold all these, all this gorgeousness for you. Okay? And I'm really hoping my turtle's going to work out well. Okay, so it's the next day. Everything has set. Oh, look, my nail polish matches. <laughs> Let's start with these. All right, we'll get these little little guys out. All right, let's have a look. Ooh, they're nice. Wow, look at those. It's so pretty. I like my color combination there. A bit of gold, a bit of orange, tiny little bit of black in that amber colored resin. That is pretty cool. All right, I put those with my pile of giveaways. And let's move on to this little little turtle. Oh, I'm so excited to wake up this morning and think, oh, it's unmolding day. Yay. There's his little tail. Yay. Okay. Ooh. So I always like to start at the back. I'm just going to pull this down like that between there. And same with this one. Get that out and then just pull this one down. Easy to unmold. Some molds are so difficult to unmold, aren't they? Oh my gosh. <gasps> Alright, and then we just give this a bit of a... You can either just pull it off like that. There we go. Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Alright. Okay, so oh, he's got, he's got a clear head. That's right. Oh my gosh. Alright, here we go. Oh, I hope it looks pretty. I hope it looks pretty. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, wow. That is so cool. I like that he's got a clear head. It matches his clear shell. And then his flippers are all that amber color. Oh, that's so cool. What do you think, guys? What do you think? Now, because he's got black in his shell, I would be more inclined to put black on his eyes just to tie it in. I like to tie things in when I do this. I pick out, you know, that brownish tone in there for his flippers. 
<laughs> My husband just came inside. Hang on. Oh, noisy household. <laughs> Okay, so I've got um, just my permanent black marker there. And this one's got a, a finer little nib on it. So, let's see if I can do this. It's difficult to do when I'm not holding it up to my body. I'm holding it over here. Oh, this one's... This one doesn't work the best. Let's see, this one's got a big nib on the end. It's not as easy to control. go round and round if I go up onto the eyelid a little bit I can wipe it off with a little cotton bud but um, maybe oh, I thought I bought myself a new one actually I must go and find it it's easier to get in there with the smaller one and then go over it perhaps with the bigger one Nah, it's just not working very well. I'll find my other one. This is it. This is my other one. It's got the smaller sort of chiseled nib on it. Hopefully that's not out of focus. I can't see. <laughs> okay. So yeah, this was the one this was the new one I bought. So just for the you know for the edges and you can put that little tiny point where you want it again it's not that easy for me doing it over here because I'm holding it away from my body normally I would hold it nice and close and you know, support it support the piece I'll go over around the edges with this little one look at that is so cute he's got such a cute little face I'll go around the edges with this one and then um, I can kind of fill in like you're coloring in hey Go around the edges first. Did everyone used to do that when they were little? You colouring, do all the edges first and then colour in. Hey, that way you stay in the lines. <laughs> so, yep, I did that. Gone all the way around. Like that. It's much easier. Much easier with a little fine tip there. And then we just got to colour him in. I think I'll do a little bit of black on his mouth too, if I can. I actually also want to see if maybe I can do his eyes before I pour the resin. I should be able to just turn that little head inside out. There we go. And um, colour them. Probably needs a little bit more. Oops, I haven't done the back of the eye here. Probably needs a little bit more. I'll put a little bit more on, but basically you get the idea. You get the general idea of what I'm doing. There you go, look. And see how what I mean about the black just tying in with the black on the little shell there? All right, now let's see if I can very carefully. It's very shiny, so it's difficult for me to see. There's a hair. Difficult for me to see where the little mouth is, but I think it's, I think it's there. It's so shimmery and shiny. I can kind of feel where the groove is. There. I think I've got it. By Joe, I think I've got it. Oops, not there. We go that's all I need to do just a little <laughs> I'll fix that up <laughs> I'll fix it up but um, basically there it is Oops. Oops, I can see that now I will fix it up <laughs> all right there you go thank you so much for watching and um, hope you like my little turtle what have you got have you got shells that you've collected you know on your beach trips on your holiday trips and you want to keep them pop them in a turtle it's a great little talking point. You can pop it on your coffee table and it's something that you've created, a lovely piece of art and then it's got a story to tell as well where you collected your shells from maybe. All right, now the next idea I have with the turtle is going to be really cool as well so keep your eye open for that one 
and um, I will see you all again real soon for the next video. Okay, take care guys. Bye for now.